Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, well hi, my name is Maxine and this channel is all about planning, self-improvement, being an athlete, sports psychology. So if you're interested, well don't be shy and subscribe to my channel here down below. And if you're already subscribed, they'll then thank you so much for your support. I do really, really appreciate it. So the topic of today is how to manage your stress. So the first question I want to ask you guys is what is the cause of your stress? What are the reasons why you feel stress? And so today I want to make, uh, I want to talk about especially athletes. When you're stressed, when you go to a tournament, to a big event, a big training. So take a piece of paper, take a pen, write that down and think about it because the most important thing in my opinion is to know more about yourself. If you know what makes you uh, stress when you're in a tournament, you will need specific advice, you will need specific tips about how to manage it. But if you don't know what, what you need, that would be really hard, you know, to know what to do. Most of the time, I would say that people can be stressed because of the crowd, the people that are there, their family, boyfriend, girlfriend, parents, uh, their coach. It can be because uh, you want to perform really well, okay, you want to win, so it gives you a lot of stress because you're thinking about the results already. Um, it can be because of your opponents, the, pe the people you're uh, competing against. It can be as well because of lack of resources. What I mean by that is that you think that you didn't train enough, you were injured and you think that you're not ready to go. It could be because you're thinking about the past. Past ex uh, experiences can be something. You think that because you didn't win last time, you will not win this time again. The tournament itself, it is a real, is it a really big tournament? Is it a new tournament? Maybe, maybe you can be stressed because uh, it's something that you don't know. The unknown can be uh, a, suffer, a source of stress. You know why you're stressed? You can now ask yourself, how do I feel when I'm stressed? So again, take your paper, take, take your pen, write this down. Try to put words on how you feel inside. It's an exercise for you to know yourself better. There's two main categories when we talk about what makes us feel stressed. It can be an external factor and it can be an internal factor. External factor is when we talk about the people, the judges, the opponents, uh, the place, the type of tournament. All these things, unfortunately, you don't have control on it. Okay, you cannot do anything about it. You cannot control who's going to be there at the tournament. You cannot control um, how big is the tournament, like, like how important it is. You cannot control who's there to watch you. Okay, but if we talk about the internal factors, these are the things that you feel inside. Okay, so either the little voice, your past experiences, your lack, your lack of resources. These things you really have a control on. Okay, you can do something about that and this is where you need to put your focus on the internal thing when we talk about emotion like i ask you how do you feel when you're stressed there's two main categories again physical reactions and psychological reaction in the physical reaction you feel sweaty you feel um shaky a little bit you feel like you have a lot of energy inside you you feel sick you feel like you want to throw up you feel uh some people even feel tired muscle tensions nervous tics heart rate will um go higher and you can feel that you really need to go to the bathroom on the psychological reaction you're unstable emotionally talking that uh, your reaction are not like usual that you can you have uh, less control of, on how you react maybe you have a tunnel vision you only see what's in front of you in your environment you take a uh, bad decision or you don't know what to do anymore so that can be something you can lose focus as well so if there's a lot of people around there that are watching you maybe you don't focus on your opening but you focus on what you hear what you see that is around you you can forget some stuff maybe you don't know anymore where you put your water bottle these are all physical psychological so, reactions let's talk about how can you manage all this stress so the first tip is focus on the process and not the result most of the time what we do okay is we think about winning the gold medal winning the division and we focus only only on that the result unfortunately we cannot have control on it either you're judged by people if you only think about the result 
well, you don't know what's gonna happen. I would say don't put your energy into the result but into the process. You have to think about what will make you win the gold medal. What are the steps that you need to focus on to win? Personal experience, I like to think about first thing, I have to win my first fight, okay? This is the first step. If I wanna go all the way to the final, if I wanna win the gold medal, I have to think, all right, I have to win my first fight. How am I gonna do that? I have to win my two rounds, okay? And how am I gonna do that? By score, uh, scoring more points than my opponent, okay? So yeah, I have to focus on making uh, scoring points, doing the good kicks to score the points. So when I'm gonna spar, when I'm gonna fight against the other person, I'm gonna think about not winning the gold medal, this is not where I am right now. I'm gonna think about which kick should I do. And if I do the right stuff, if I follow my plan, I will win this round, I will win the other round, I will win my fight, and there it goes, okay? So first thing, think about the process and not the result. Second thing is you need to manage how you feel. So earlier we talked about what are the emotions that you feel when you're stressed. What do you feel inside? If you want to manage that, most of the people, they feel sweaty, they feel they have a lot of energy, they feel that they, they were overwhelmed by the situation. My advice is breathe. Learn how to breathe and learn to breathe uh, mindfully. What I mean by that is you need to be aware of your breathing. It will first it will first put you more in the present moment. It will lower your heart rate. So exercise that I can give you, really easy. Breathe in for four seconds, keep the air for four seconds, and breathe out for four seconds. And do this exercise as much as you need. Third advice is how to lower the voice in your head. Well, actually, I'm not talking only about lowering the, uh, the voice, but it's more about switching uh, the type of words that your mind is using. We're gonna talk about the internal speech. Sometimes we do talk to ourselves in a negative, negative way. Like, I won't do it, I won't be able to do it, I will not win, I will not be able to win against this person again, when I'll be able to fight this person, or I'm too weak. There's a lot of stuff that our mind can say. So if you want to switch it, you need to find positive sentences that you will repeat inside in your mind. And I'm not only saying like, I'm good, I'm the best. These are, they're not specific enough for me personally. What I like to tell myself is stuff that I know that are true. Like I know my kick are good, I'm strong enough. I move good, like I know how to move in the ring. I can kick high. These are stuff that are specific that I know they're through, and if I'm doing them well, I would win. So these are the good stuff that I can tell myself. I'm not only repeating like, I'm the best, I'm gonna win. This is all about the attitude, this is something else. And that can be good, but you need to tell yourself, repeat to yourself the stuff that you know that you're good at, okay? And the fourth one is visualization. It's important to visualize the perfect scenario in your head. So if you feel stressed, take a moment to close your eyes and try to see the perfect scenario, the perfect routine, the perfect kick, the perfect fight, okay? You really need to be able to see um, a good performance in your head like it's a movie and be able to feel it as well. The emotional side is really important. You need to be able to feel what you see so this way it does feel real in your mind, in your body. This will calm you down a lot just because it's like you already lived the moment so your body will just, you know, relax. And if you tell yourself what you need to do and how you need to do it, well, it's gonna be way easier when the real moment is gonna happen. So visualization is really important, in my opinion. So that's it, guys. I hope you really like this video. Uh, this is a topic that re I really love. Um, this, these are stuff that I experience in different tournaments and I also talk about this subject in classes in kinesiology and in my, in my actual uh, job. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. It would be a pleasure for me to answer you back and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye guys! <laughs>